hadi mwisho wa dahari fungua macho mteule uone mbali giza la toweka pambazuka nikueleze je mteule hakuachi bwana hadi mwisho wa dahari fungua macho mteule uone mbali giza la toweka Praise God church. Amen. No, I think we can do a better amen. Praise God church. Amen. How are you? Amen. Turn to your neighbor, Msalimie. Mkaribisha kanisani siku ya leo. It's a beautiful day. It's a bit chilly, but I know it's a beautiful day. Um, so I will take you through the call to worship. And I read, this is the account of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time. And he walked faithfully with God. Amen. Let's close our eyes and pray. Our dear and heavenly Father, we come before you this day with thanksgiving in our hearts. Thank you, Jehovah, for the privilege, O oh God, to come before your presence for us, O oh God, to sit at your feet, Jehovah, for us to minister, O oh God, before your altar this day. We do not take it for granted. We know it is not by our powers, nor by our strength, but it is only by your intervention, Jehovah, that we are here this morning, Father. I pray, O oh God, that even as we praise and worship you, Jehovah, may that rise, Father, is a sweet offering before your throne, O oh God. I pray for the power of the Holy Spirit to dwell with us this day, Father, even as we anticipate to hear your word, Father. We pray this trusting and believing in your holy name. Amen. Karibuni, praise and worship. Uh, praise God. Amen. Praise God, church. Amen. Ah, praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Um, so, we know uh, God has done so many things in our lives and which uh, we have to be grateful for and that's what we are going to celebrate today. Sindo. Sindio. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. 
celebrate Jesus. Church, 
Changu na kusifu baba yangu
say something to our King of Kings.
kisema wewe ni Mungu tunainama tunainuka tukisema kama church wewe ni Mungu tunainama Speak to your creator, speak to your maker, open up your mouth and speak to God right now. Open up your mouth and start speaking to God right now. Mwambie hakuna aliye kama we. Yeah. Mwambie tumechafuta na tumekosa kama ye. If you're not saying something, you need to say something to this God. You need to speak to this God that created you. We need to speak to this God that we are worshiping at this time. Bwana tunasema kuna aliye kama wewe. That there is no other God but you King of glory. You are the holy of holies King of glory. You are the creator and the maker of the universe Lord. You are our Abba Father, King of glory. You reign on high, Jehovah Jireh. There's no other God but you, King of kings. You that do exploits, you that do great things, you that do marvelous things in our lives, King of glory, we worship you, Jesus. Tunainama na tunainuka tukikusifu mwana Yesu. Tunainama tukinuka mbele zako mwana. Wewe mbae ni mwaminifu. Wewe mbae ni muema. Wewe mbae natupenda katika jina la Yesu hakuna aliye kama wewe bwana we worship you jesus at your presence you are here right now lord receiving this praises and receiving this worship oh lord that we are giving unto you you are in this place my king of glory and how i pray that you may receive oh lord this which that we are singing unto you lord that you may receive this sacrifice of worship and of praise unto you lord as we decree and declare the lord you are the great O Jehovah, the great mighty man of war. The lion of Judah, the king of kings. Judah, Jehovah Lord, we bless you and we adore you, Adonai. Jehovah Jireh, our provider, savior that died upon the cross to save us from sin. The one that loves us with unconditional love. Lord, we worship you and we praise your name. The God that answers by fire. The God that answers our prayers, 
King of glory. We bow down before thy presence, oh Lord, and we worship you, Jesus. As a church, oh King of glory, as your people, oh King of glory, as your sons and children, Lord, we at your presence, oh God, just praising you and worshiping you, Jesus, for who you are. Receive them, Adonai. Receive them, King of glory. For this is what we can give to you, Lord. Your word tells us that the, you receive this sacrifice, this praises and worship that come from our lips as sacrifices unto you, Lord. Receive them this morning, Adonai. Receive them this morning, O Lord. We bless you and we worship you, Jesus. Tunaimba ya kwamba we ndio usikiae maombi Bwana. Ambe unayechibu Jehovah Jiri. Thank you because the prayers that are made in this church, prayers that are made in this room, King of Glory, in your house, O Jehovah Lord, you hear them and you listen, King of Glory, and you answer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my God, because no prayer shall be left unanswered. Thank you, my King of Glory, because the desires and the needs that we have, O Lord, and we we have no other God except for you. We will search and search and find no one like you, Jesus. And find no one like you, Lord. We bless your name and we worship you, Jesus. Receive all the glory. Lord, it is all about you. About you, King of glory. Receive them, O Lord. Receive them, O Lord. For the sins that we have committed, O King of glory. Forgive us, O Lord, for those sins and transgressions that we have made, O Lord. Against you, King of glory, and against our fellows, O King of glory. Erase our names from the book of death and write our names in the book of life, O King of glory. Jehovah, I pray, cleanse us with your blood. Cleanse us with the blood of Jesus that was shed upon the Calvary, O God. To cleanse us, to make us clean and right before you. That even as Tunainawa and Tunainuka, even as we are at your presence, O Holy of Holies, that Lord Jesus will receive us, King of glory. I pray, O Lord, forgive us, O Father. And I pray, teach us your word, that we may know, O King of glory, what you want us to do, Lord. Instill in us, O King of glory, hearts that desire just to please you. Hearts that desire, Jehovah Lord, to walk this journey with you. Hearts that desire, Jehovah Lord, to put you at the lead front. Hearts that desire, Jehovah, to just have you at the center. At the center, O King of glory, of everything. Hearts that desire, Jehovah, to involve you in everything that we do, Lord. And I pray, King of glory, when they look at us, Jesus, they will see that we are different from the rest. Why? Because we have you, O oh Lord. Why? Because you are our God. Why? Because Jesus, you are our Savior. You are our Lord, Jesus Christ. We thank you and we bless you, O oh Lord. Have your way in this church. Have your way in the lives of your people. Take control, King of glory. Have mercy upon our lives. Show us favor and grace, King of glory, to endure everything that we will find, O King of glory. And I pray, Jehovah Lord, that one assignment of making your name known to the nations, O King of glory, we will do in the name of Jesus. We'll be spreading your word, King of glory, O God, to many, that they may know you, Jesus, that they may know your salvation, that they may know this gift that you gave us, O King of glory, that they may know of this key to the kingdom of God, King of glory. Salvation in Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. I pray, O oh King of glory, that people will know you. People will respect you. That we will serve you wholeheartedly and diligently as you have commanded us to do, Lord. Spirit of God, hover in this place. Hover in this place and touch your people. Those that are desiring you, let them find you, Jesus. Those that are calling unto your name day in, day out, let them find you, Jesus. The desires and the needs of their hearts, O King of glory, that are aligning unto your will, that are aligning, O God, with those plans that you have for them. Jesus, let your time be now, O King of glory. Meet them, King of glory. Let their mouths fill with testimonies, King of glory, that they may testify to people, O God, of what you have done and how gracious you are, O Lord. Bless the work of our hands, in our jobs, in our families, wherever we are, wherever we go, oh Lord, bless us. Continue keeping us, oh God, in your loving arms, oh Lord. Continue whispering your command and your will 
into our ears, oh Lord, that we may know, Jehovah, what you want us to do, what your plan is for us. We, we refuse to be in the dark, oh God. We refuse to be in the dark, whereas there's light, oh King of glory, shining everywhere, Lord. We refuse to be in darkness, O King of glory. Whereas Jesus, you say that you are the light of the world, O God. May your light shine upon our lives. May your light shine upon our families. May your light shine upon this nation. May your light shine upon every King of glory. And let it be known, Jesus, that it is you, O King of glory. It is you, Jehovah Lord. It is about you, King of glory, and not about us. Father, we praise you. We worship you, Lord. To those that are sick, you are the healer, King of glory, the great physician. Lord, do what you do best upon their bodies in the name of Jesus, Lord. Those that are waiting on you for a miracle, oh God, you are a miracle worker, Lord. Perform it right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Those in the hospitals, oh God, those in the streets begging, oh Lord, those that are in dark, oh Jehovah, Lord, and have not yet found your light, do it today, do it now in the name of Jesus. I serve an all-capable God. I serve a miracle-working God. We serve a miracle-working God. We serve the great God, the only God, the God that was there before who is today and will forever remain to be. We serve you, oh God. We serve that God in the name of Jesus. And you never fail. God, I pray, even for the word that is to be shared today, Lord, I pray that our hearts shall be ready to receive from you. Our spirits shall be ready to hear from you, Lord. And as you have told us, not to only to be hearers of the word, but also doers of the word. And actions speak louder, Jehovah, Lord. I pray that we may do this word. We perform this word. We may be this word. We may speak this word in the name of Jesus. Bless your people, O oh God. And continue intervening in the name of Jesus. Whatever I've been prayed for, O King of glory, you know it all, O oh Father. Perform it in the name of Jesus. Perform it in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we bless thy holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, believing and trusting. Let's appreciate the prison worship team. You don't got to. Just one minute. Oh, I'm gonna stay my e my card. I will try and shout. Anyway, hi guys. Oh, let, let's appreciate the prison worship team. No, I think I think we can do a better job than that. Let's let's appreciate them. Wow, awesome. We appreciate you, team. Um, when we might not be able to mention you guys by name, but we do appreciate you for the work that you do, for the sacrifices that you take to practice. Najua, it's not easy. Sometimes you just come and see the finished product. It takes time. It takes dedication for you guys to take us before the Lord. Therefore, we appreciate you and we value you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, I think this is better. So, um, welcome to church today. Are you excited to be in the house of the Lord? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. No, I can't see it. He sighed. Are you guys excited? Are you guys excited to be in the house of the Lord? They are not excited. Are you guys excited to be in the house of the Lord? Simni yeah. Wavia at least. Are you guys excited to be in the house of the Lord? Sim shout kidogo. 
Are you guys excited to be in the house of the Lord? Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, it's not, it's not, si kawaida. Ukijibeba na miguzaku kamapa si kawai? Si kawaida. It takes grace from God. You know, today in the morning while we were doing the morning glory, it hit me that it's, it's not by your willingness. You know, sometimes we think that it is by our willingness. Okay, partly it is because of our willingness that we are here. But it has much to do with what God has done. And I remember to Kifanya Bible study on Wednesday, we got to realize that God has really invested for us to go to heaven. God has invested, has really invested for us to go. To, God has done everything possible for us to go to heaven. The only way for you not to make it to heaven is for you to refuse not to go to heaven. Imagine. The door is open. God has invested. He gave his son to die on the cross for your sins. Yani, when you stand before God, you're vindicated. Sheto akikutangulia, amekimbia kwa God, na ameanza kukua accuse, eh, humse, ati nimtoi wako, na nimuona akisanya, nimuona akituka nana. Yani, Jesus is seated at the right hand of God saying, this is my son. He's vindicated by my blood. Continuously anakutetea. And not only that, the Holy Spirit, in wordless groans, intercedes for you bado. Kama miss Jayona investment kama yo. As in, God has really invested for you to go to heaven. If you do not want to go to heaven, it will be by your own choice, by you saying no. Amen. Amen. So, so, we are being led by the committee, executive committee. Yeah. And it's such an honor to stand before you guys and lead you through the service. Uh, it's by God's glory. Amen. So, uh, Wageni, 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 do we have any visitors uh, worshipping with us for the first time? Ama umeka sana bila kukam, umekam. If you're Simama <laughs> Tutafadali. Let's give her a hearty, a hearty welcome. Karibu sana, our sister. Feel at home. Make that your seat. And we 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 love you. We love visitors. Sindio? We love visitors. Um so at this point, uh, I will invite or it's time for announcements. Media team. Welcome to today's service and the announcements are as follows. Morning prayers at the main church at 5.30 a.m. At 8.15 to 8.55, the youth have their own devotion at the youth sanctuary. Every Wednesday, we have Bible study from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. at 6th floor Imani Towers. This coming week, we will be covering the book of Hebrews chapter 10. After the service, will have life groups and we'll be starting a new series that focuses on the Mizizi and Ombi books. Changes for the books are 1,000 Kenya shillings. Registration is ongoing within the life groups. So if you're not in a life group, kindly join one. For more information, contact the number on the screen. For those who already did Mizizi, you can lend your brethren and help them build their roots in Christ. Training sessions for PCA UMO Youth FC from Thursdays to Mondays at 5 p.m. at Mojon Primary School. Today at 4 p.m. Pala Youth Sanctuary kutakuwa na live match between Arsenal and Tottenham. Nani atabagua Pali Lodon Derby 
tupatane tujue karibuni it will be fun all men you are be obviously power is finally here from 6 october registration is ongoing and the changes are 500 kenya shillings via sam mugo his number is displayed on the screen fun learning and much more is promised so you would better not miss out tonight we gather our twg is this coming friday and you don't want to miss tag along a friend thank you and have a pleasant week ahead and a great day ahead Let's appreciate the media team. Wow. Good job. But the si media team to mwenye anaonganga akwa kijintroduce to joange ni nani? Unajua it's so mysterious. We see we hear a voice but we don't see don't know the face. Anyway, suggestion. So let me invite Jane. Maybe you can talk to us about what's starting today. Eh uh, karibu sana. Praise God, everyone. Praise God again. Uh, I'm so happy to be here today. I'm excited. To, today we'll start on Mizizi and Ombi. Um, and I know there are many people who registered, so please, when the service is over, please don't go home. Uh, we, are, we are really looking forward to starting. So for, if you've not yet paid for the book, please pay also so that we can buy them for you. But we'll still start today, even if you've not yet bought. We will we will share the ones that we have. Um, so if you are if you are not in a live group, please see me at the end of the service. I'll be I'll sit at the corner there. Just come and see me and register if you want to do Mizizi or Ombi. Mostly Mizizi because you have to start with Mizizi, and then proceed to Ombi. Okay. Then we also have uh, sisters. We're going to have a. a a potluck on the 7th of October. 7th of October, we are, it's a Saturday. So we're going to come and meet here and uh, we want to have the old youth, they are going to come, the ladies specifically, they're going to come and talk to us uh, about what they wish they had known when they were younger. So it's, we have titled it, A Letter to My Younger Self. So please also, uh, you can register with me or with Faith for that potluck so that we don't all bring mandazis, other people can bring crisps, others popcorn. Yeah, and it's going to be a wonderful day. So thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, thank you, Jane. Um, before I invite Alakudata for the other announcements, Maze, for this Mizizi program, if I could force each and everyone to do, I would, uh, I would to be honest, because my personal testimony is actually while doing the book of Mizizi. I was very indifferent about church, to be honest. I was that guy who would come, a statistic, that is in 2018, because that's when I did the book of Mizizi. Back in 2018, I was just a statistic. Kelvin is a Christian and a full member. But if you are to analyze my relationship and my work with God, it was wanting. I was in the wilderness doing my own stuff. But when I began the book of Mizizi, God, I believe it was a turning point for me. Because Mizizi is a walkthrough of what a Christian should do and be. You cannot be a Christian without truths. Natunambiwa, if you build, if you don't build your house on the rock, the wind will come and blow, the storm will come, and your house will fall. Now, actually, Jesus describes the fall, and I said, there will be a great fall. It's really important for us to do this book. I've seen the transformation it has had in my life. I can attest to that. I can give testimony to that. Therefore, I would really encourage you, if you've not done Mizizi, please register with Jane. Have that walk with God. Get to walk with others as well. 
the beautiful thing with Mizizi is that you're not doing it alone, but you're doing it together as a fellowship group. You'll get to experience each other's strengths, each other's challenges, each other's struggles, and you get to hold each other up. Therefore, please see Jane after this and trust after that book. Uh, you'll all testimony. Amen. So I will invite Alakudate for further announcements. Praise the Lord, church. Good morning. Yes, I have also done with Izzy. Yes, we did with Izzy, and I'm feeling inspired to do go one more round. Because this life we live, is, you only live better if you are better informed, if you know yourself, then you are sure that the decisions you make are right decisions. If you are not sure about yourself, any decision will do. So kindly plug in, and we'll be meeting there on our way. So um, I just want to clarify a few other things that affect all of us in the bigger church. One, the rite of passage is going on. Uh, registration is going. Be we are saying this because of your younger brothers and sisters. Maybe you come to church and your brother and or your parents don't attend the church here. Let them know. There's a rite of passage that is scheduled to start from the 4th of uh, November, of December to the 13th of December. There are charges. Registration for both boys and girls is 500 shillings. For the boys, now, they, they charge 13,000. Unajua mtu anaweza niuliza kwa nini kwa nini boys wanaambiwa alipe 13 na wasichana wanaambiwa alipe 5000 why the imbalance eh nyewe pengine we can discuss that one later <laughs> but right now i may not have the answer but it is there one then the other one is good to remember for those who need various services reverend is on leave eh uh, ata eh huenda leave uchoka anapumzika the entire of this month he's on leave <coughs> I know you know very well. Uh, the calendar of the year, uh, church we shall in your PCA. Now, now, what we are in your mother, see, you know, come on, a jew, come on, a jew, come on, a jew, Mambia to see jew, I don't know. And yeah, Miss Jew. Very good. Ah, yeah. As Presbyterians, our church calendar year runs from September to September. Ebu mwambie September to September. That is why we normally have elections after September, within the month of September. Actually, it's September to end of August. Ndiyo tunakuwa na elections of new leaders. So, as a youth group and as a youth church, as a youth community, we need to have done our elections by the 9th of September. Takua na new office, yeah, the, new, uh, the 9th of October. Uh, tutakua tumefanya, tutakua na new office bearers. I'm the same guys. If you want to elect them, go, have led you well, we'll be happy. If they have, bring them back. If they have not, unambia uh, to what you do, let's give other guys a chance. And even if they have served you very well and they have served for three years, then it is time to for them to give another person a chance. Mwambie jirani hivi ukichaguliwa usikasirike na usikatae. Eh, it's good to be a leader and especially in church. We just want to also um in in connection to that this means after elections are done we shall have on the 18th of November all leader seminar. All new leaders normally have a seminar on a Saturday before the induction on the 19th of November 2023. And then next Sunday, to na, to na commissioning of Women's Guild. Some of our parents are Women's Guild members and others are joining Women's Guild. So we shall have their commissioning next week after during the Kikuyu service. For if your parent or your auntie is being commissioned, it's good to go and support them to Kitmaliza e service na Mizizi. You just go congratulate them. It's a good thing. It's a big step. Finally, I just want to thank you on behalf of the evangelism for being so seriously committed and taking part in sports. 
Hey, wale ambao, everyone is a winner. I just clap for everyone. And thank you guys for being there. Mlifanya poa. Mlifanya poa sana. We were very, very excited. And I knew exactly what our dads do. Tag of war. And our moms are very good at that. Lakini mbio tuachieni sisi. That is ours. You did very, very well. And thank you. Next time, and for those who are in uh, volleyball, uh, soccer, najua kuna soccer team kali sana hapa, plug in if you are not a member, hata kama utaenda kuspectate. We invite you there. And thank you very, very much, and God bless you. Mbarikiwe sana. Amen. Amen. We have, before we do the Bible readings, we have a presentation from Jose. We have a presentation from Jose. Karibu. Let's, let's welcome him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. I have a song to praise the Lord. And I hope you'll enjoy I will praise you, I will praise you, I will praise you, because you care for me. I will praise you with all my heart, Lord. I will praise you, I will praise you, Lord. I will worship you, I will worship you with all my heart, Lord. I will worship you, I will sing for you i will sing for you i will sing for you i will praise you with all my heart with all my heart i will be humble I will be humble, I will be humble for you, Lord, with all my heart, with all my heart, with all my heart, I will praise you i will praise you i will praise you with all my heart with all my heart with all my heart i will praise you I will read for you. I will read for you with all my heart. 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 I will preach for you i will preach for you i will preach for you with all my heart with all my heart with all my heart i will play the drums I will play the drums. 
Thank you, thank you, Joseph, for blessing us with that beautiful song. Uh, Leo, Joseph, amekuwa Moses, Dora, amekuwa Aaron, na tumapokea ujumbe, sindio? So this time, I'll uh, invite the Bible reader, ni moja, an, I mean, sorry, let's pray for the children. Uh, I will invite uh, Elder Minor, maybe you'll come and pray for the children. Watoto, karibuni. Bwana asifiwe. Yes, watoto kikuja. Maybe our our Asha the door. I think there's some kids making noise on the next floor. A kindly you can attend to them. Ah uh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah uh, shall we stand? Yes, we are going to pray for these children uh, so that they may grow up uh, fearing God. And it is good because now <coughs> you have, as you you have to make some, uh, uh, some very nice decision. We have kids now that we are bringing up. And uh, it is very good or it will be very important when now we have teachers uh, from this age so that uh, they may learn just school, the way they are learning the, 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 the other subjects in school. The NCBC. The NCBC, Sindio. For us in school, uh, to refundish you A, B, C, D. Our schools are refundish you A, B, C, D. That's the biggest difference that we have nowadays. So, Mori Mwanyamiri refundish Sunday school. A, B, C, D. At a fundishawa, if you. It is a challenge that we need now to think about uh, so that we may have at least, I know we, we cannot miss one or two who have that heart of children ministry that they can stand with these children. Sindio. So that we bring up another generation, a uh, uh, God fearing generation, understanding the Bible in the in the, in, in the setup that we have nowadays, in, in academically, the same way they are leading in school, so that they may, we may impact them. So if maybe you can hear that call, please make a move, and I know God is going to help us as we continue uh, uh, nurturing uh, these kids. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you and we worship you, God, for this blessing, O oh God, that you have blessed us with your job at King glory. Father, these kids, we are bringing them up for your own glory, Jehovah, dear King, glory, Lord. We send in their lives unto you, Jehovah, Lord, so that we may come and learn in their lives, O oh God. We may come, O oh Lord, Father, and bring them, O oh Jehovah, dear King, King, glory, O oh Jehovah, God, in your fold, O oh Jehovah, dear King, glory, O oh Lord, Father. We want to speak a word of blessing unto their lives, O oh Jehovah, dear King, of all glory, Lord, so that their old age, O oh Jehovah, dear King, of all glory, Lord, they will never depart, O oh Jehovah, dear King, of all glory, Lord. Father, they are being brought in this altar, Jehovah, God, with their parents, O oh God. God. We want to speak your word, which is life, O Jehovah God, Father, in their lives, O Jehovah, dear King of all glory, Lord, that you may continue ministering unto their lives, O Jehovah, dear King, glory, Lord, so that even at their tender age, O Jehovah, dear King of all glory, Lord, they will be walking in your presence, O Jehovah God. Father, we will walk with them, O Lord. They will walk with you, Jehovah, dear King of all glory, Lord. We surrender their, their lives unto dear Lord. Come, O Lord, and be with them, O Lord. You, we want to remember their parents, O oh Jehovah, the King of all glory, Lord. Father, may you come and shower them, O oh Jehovah God, with your heavenly blessing, Jehovah, the King of all glory, so that they may be able to produce, oh, to, to, to produce, to, to, to bless these kids, O oh Jehovah, the King of all glory, Lord. Anything that they need in their lives, O oh Jehovah God, come and provide them to their parents, O oh Jehovah God. It's a while I say, O oh Jehovah God, in Deuteronomy 8, 18, O oh God, you are the only one, O oh Jehovah, the King of all glory, who gives us power, Jehovah God, to make world, O oh Jehovah God. Father, 
may you come and bless their parents, O oh God, so that they may make words, O oh God, for this, for this little one, so Jehovah, dear King of all glory. And your word, Jehovah, dear King of all glory, Lord, shall be glorified, Jehovah, dear King of all glory. Come and bless them, O oh God. In their school life, O oh God, come and bless them, O oh Jehovah, God. When they go to school, when they come back, O oh Jehovah, God, Father, we surrender their lives unto you, Jehovah, God. Come and be with them, O oh Lord. Come and be with their parents, O oh God, for the glory and honor of your holy name, O oh Lord. Father, this is a prayer of faith through Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, who do pray, believe, and trust. Amen. Thank you. Uh, we'll have now a Bible reading. Uh, Karibu and Praise God, church. Praise God, church. Our first reading is coming from the book of Genesis, chapter 5, verse 21 to 24. Genesis 5, 21 to 24. I'll start. When Enoch had lived 65 years, he became the father of Methuselah. After he became the father of Methuselah, Enoch walked faithfully with God 300 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Enoch lived a total of 365 years. Enoch walked faithfully with God. Then he was no more because God took him away. Amen. My name is Anne. Thank you, Anne. At this point, I will invite the praise and worship team to lead us in our congregational hymn. Karibuni. Uh, praise God. I'll request you to stand for the hymn. There is another church here. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Okay. Now this is one church. I'm saying Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God is good. And all the time. And that is his nature. Wow. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning that we have given us an opportunity and a chance to live. And also you've given us an opportunity and a chance to listen to your word. For in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And you know this morning, even as we listen to your word, it's going to transform us and make us a different. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. We may have our seats in Jesus' name. Wow. 
Wow, nice to see all of us in church this morning, and we honor God for giving us a chance to be here. Maybe naja singi na kanga na jirani apa toju jine yake ato kilezo na niyo mlikuwa na e nemo jirani nimte yako. Abu Abu get to know how your neighbor is doing or how was the week. Eh, ni wasi simbonge apa chini ku mekunja sura. Eh, even even knowing the name, sister. Salimi ya sister, muli se ask how the week was, how yes, vula mekuwa tu. Kama ni msewa Arsenal, sayo unajua sewa Arsenal ala shikiki. Eh, manu, wani watimgani, na wongi na jirani. Eh, wow, good. I'm excited that we are starting Mizizi. I don't know if you've done it. Ebu nisaidia kuwange na ujirani. Muliza kama medu Mizizi. Kama hajafanya unuwa mkono. Kama jirani yako hajafanya wo unuwa mkono. No, as you know, if your neighbor has not done mizizi, lift your hand up. If your neighbor has not done mizizi, lift your hand up. We are in church. Musio, musida nganye. Aki God na waona. God is in you. You. God is in you. He answers with fire. Aya. If your neighbor has not done mizizi, lift your hand. Or both. Good. If both neighbors have not done mizizi, lift both of your hands. Wa, 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 wa. Kevo, kuja. Kevo, kuja hapa. We are not doing well. These are the instructions. If your neighbors have not done mizizi, lift both of your hands. Wa, 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 wa. Okay. One mizizi book. Abu, let's go ahead. If your neighbor does not have, has not done mizizi and does not have a mizizi book, lift your upper hand. Jesus Christ. Okay, let me go. Let me go to the next level. If your neighbor wants to do mizizi and does not have a mizizi book, and maybe I'm gonna fifty percent, lift up your hand. Whatever amount I'm gonna have mizizi. If your neighbor wants to do mizizi, na hana book, na maybe he has it, just lift up your hand. Anata kudu mizizi. Ah, to monua. Does your neighbor want to do mizizi? Lift your hand. Lift on behalf of your neighbor. Okay, thank you, Juan. I'm counting. There's a reason I'm asking that. Your neighbor wants to do mizizi, but does not have a mizizi book. Lift up your hand. Unua vizuri. You are campaigning for your neighbor. I'm counting. Okay, I'm counting. One. Let me see how many. One. They want to do mizizi. Anataka kudu mizizi nana mizizi book. Anataka kufanya. Okay, let me see. Lift it, lift it up, lift it up. Wow. How many are they? Simunu mkono ni count. Wa, abu ni sedia count. There's a reason I'm doing that. Twenty one. Thank you. 24 times 500, how much? 12,000. I have paid for you 500 each. You come for the 12,000. <laughs> so this is the condition. I will give 12,000 to Jane, and you can only give them the 500 if they give you the other 500. I have paid for you 500, but you need to give Jen the other 500, the 12 of them. If you've lifted the 12, take that number. So Jen, we have 12 disciples this morning. Can you clap for the 24 disciples this morning that are joining Mizizi? So the 24 of you, don't leave church. Join, and you'll have books by the course of the week. Sawa. So raise the 500, give it to Jane. Jane, after the service, to anane kando, to anane nyumiahema. How many of us have done mizizi and have never done umbi? Nanekanaleo someone ni avitabu. How many of us have done mizizi but have never done umbi? Done mizizi but have never done umbi? Wow. Yeah, we have a number for to do umbi. Good. Acha goda onge, story ya umbi. Tongyo story. What we, we are starting a new sermon series 
of walking with God. Tell your neighbor, walking with God. Ah, you people, see when you said here, walking with? Walking with? Uh, the book of the book of Genesis chapter 5 and chapter 6, it talks about that Enoch walked with God. What is the difference of walking with God and walking after God? I will ask your neighbor, did Enoch, with God, did Enoch walk with God or did Enoch walk after God? Did Enoch walk with God or did Enoch walk after God? the book of Genesis chapter 6 verse 9. Genesis 6 verse 9, it says what? Genesis 6, 6 verse 9. Let's, let's read together, church. The Lord saw her. Ah, verse 9. Let's start. This is the account of Noah. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked with God. We are talking about walking with God. We are talking about walking with God. When we are talking about walking with God, and this is a Maasai, we can walk. That's why I've asked you to come. What is the difference of, let's walk. This is the walking with God, and, and there is walking after. Did Enoch walk with God, or did Enoch walk after God? Ah, tell your neighbor. Did Enoch walk with God, or did Enoch walk after God? In Kiswahili, we talk about kutembea. So kutembea ya maanisha nini mwalimu wa Kiswahili? Kutembea. Mwalimu wa muziki. Akiwa kwa? Kutoka sehemu moja hadi sehemu? Lakini kutembea ni? Walking with, but not walking after, but not walking after. Ask your neighbor, do you walk with God or do you walk after God? Ah, wait, I'm sure. Discussion five marks. Karibu sister, we knew you were coming and we had a seat for you. Thank you. Ah. Ah, we were expecting you. Karibu. So we are talking about walking with and the Bible says that Noah and Enoch were men that walked with God. Do you know what? God is interested with us walking with him. Meaning for you to be able to walk with God, you must be in a with God. You must be now journey with God. Because for you to start a walk, it means you want to start a journey. You cannot walk without starting a journey. Walking with God means that you want to be in harmony with God and you want to be together with God as you are starting and as you are doing your journey. You know, we keep saying doing life together. Walking with God means doing life with God. Ah, please sit closer to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, walking with God means doing life with God. God is interested with us not walking after him, but walking with after him but walking with him and you cannot walk with him if you do not know him you can only walk with a person that you have discovered about him for you to walk with God you must discover the God and you must discover him so that you may walk with him 
Bible talks about Job and God gave an account about Job and he said when the devil and went before God and the devil was vindicating God and the devil was like do you know about this man and God could give an account of Job because Job had discovered God and Job had been working with God and that's why Job could stand with God because he had discovered who God is. When you walk with God, you discover God. Tell your neighbor, when you walk with God, you discover God. Job had discovered who God was. God had discovered, Job had discovered who the supremacy of God. When you discover God, you discover exactly what he is, what he can do, and his mightiness. Maybe you've been saying, I want to encounter the mightiness of God. I want to encounter the greatness of God. I want to encounter the miracles of God. I came to tell you this morning, the secret of discovering God and who God is, is by walking with God. Someone say, Amen. Ah, say many a better amen. amen. Discovering who God is by walking with Him. And that's why I like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I keep talking about these three young men. I keep saying about them because I like what they said when they were told, Are you going to bow to the God of Nebuchadnezzar? They told Nebuchadnezzar, oh, Nebuchadnezzar, may your kingdom reign. May your kingdom be, but let it be known to you, Nebuchadnezzar. We cannot bow to your God because we have discovered our God. We know who our God is. We know what he can do. We know the mightiness of God. We have discovered that our God is the supreme God. Someone say amen. You know, I keep saying for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be able to stand and say, Asol kwa mejijaza, asol kwa mejichocha. Sama kujichocha. Then they told Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, let it be known, even if the God that we serve is not going to rescue us, we are not going to bow to you. Because they had discovered God. Tell your neighbor, they had discovered God. Let me tell you, are you confused about your future? Are you confused about your tomorrow? Let me tell you, you must discover God for you to discover your destiny. You must discover God for you to discover your destiny. Tell your neighbor, discover God for you to discover your... Ah, so I'm going Because Jeremiah 29, 11, it says what? For I know, for I know, it is not your mother or father telling you. God is saying, for I know. So you must discover God for you to discover what is this that God knows about you. The plans I have for you. Ah, Mr. Aksomo, your side. Miracle 29, 11a. The Bible says, Abu Wakayo. Media team. Atakama to Aoni. We can see you. Kevo. We can see them. Jeremiah 9 11. What does it say? Ah, okay. We'll. What does the Bible say? Jeremiah 9 11. Okay, let's read together. Church until Apokwa you. Oh, declares the Lord. Let's go. For I know the plans I have for you. You can only discover what God knows because it is God who is talking to you and telling you, for I know. For I know. God is telling you, Kevo, for I know. So you must work with God for you to discover what is this that God knows about me, Ekra. What is this Samugo that God knows about Samugo? Because 
for you to know what God knows about you, you must walk with him for you to know his plans. You know, the more you walk with a person, the more you understand the person, the more you experience the person, and the more you discover the person. Hallelujah. Amen. That when you walk with a person, you experience them, you know them, and you discover them. That's why God could talk about these servants because he knew about them. And this morning, even as we begin this sermon series about walking with God, we must realize that walking with God, we must experience who God is, the real God. For us to know God, we must discover who God wants us to be. We must discover what God is talking about us. Let me go immediately and talk about, and the Bible says, so number one, Walking with God, I want to talk about three M's and I conclude. I want to talk about three M's even as we talk about walking with God. For us to walk with God, M number one, we must meet with God. Someone say, meeting with God. And up with God, meeting with God. We must meet with God. We must meet with God. Let me tell you, when you meet with God, you encounter the grace of God. Meeting with God means what? Your life encountering the grace of God. What is grace? What is grace? Not elder grace. elder. Grace is undeserved favor of so us walking with God, number one, it means meeting with God. And when you meet with God, there must be a change. There must be a transformation. Because number one, when you walk with God, you meet with him. You start walking by faith. And you start walking by some grace. And deserved favor. You know, there are people you look at and you wonder, what is about this? When you read about the Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, let me paraphrase for you. The Bible says this. When the king was very angry with them, he said that the fire should be put how many times hotter? Well, how many times? Seven times hotter. But because Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had been working with God and they had met God, the Bible says what? When they were put in the furnace of fire, when they were put in the furnace of fire, Nebuchadnezzar asked, I thought we put three, but I can see four. Let me tell you, when you walk with God, you meet undeserved favor. You meet with grace. And when you meet with grace, some things start happening that even the universe cannot talk about. Someone say amen. When you read that story, when you read that story, it says this, that story says this, that the fire was so hot that it did not burn the people that were in the fire, but it burned the soldiers who put Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in. Because the people who were in the fire, they were not burnt with the fire because they had met with God and God had protected them. Did you know that that fire killed some people? Wait, I see. Did you know Maina? Will you join your file? I will open it. I show you that place. Did you know that fire? That fire? Did you know that? Did you know that? Did you know that fire? Some. Did you know that fire burned some people? In that story. Did you know? Yes. Did you know? Did you know that fire burned some people? In that story. Did you know? Yes. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not burned. But did you know it burned some people? It did. That and the soldiers that had put them in, they were burnt. I'll come to it. I want to open. Let's continue. So, open Daniel 3.22. Open Daniel, Daniel chapter 3. That story is Daniel chapter 3. By then that fire burnt some people. But the three, so, I want you to go to, so, ah, good. This is what? 
The king's command was so urgent. Let's read together. Church, one to go. The king's command was so urgent and the furnace was so hot that the flames of the fire killed the soldiers who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The fire was so hot that the people who took them to fire, they were the ones that were burnt. I pray in Jesus' name, when you walk with God and you meet God, even your enemies, it is not you who is going to be burnt. May your enemies be burnt in Jesus' name. Ah, say many amen. amen. Do you know what the Bible says? That I will set a table before your enemies. How I pray that you may become like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That when people plan against you, when people set a fire for you, that fire is not going to burn you, but that fire is going to burn them in Jesus' name. My prayer this morning, may my enemies be burnt in Jesus' name. Amen? Let's continue. The second M. Church Kukaribu Kuisha. So, M number one is meeting with God. Can we say it louder? M number one? M number two, marching with God. Someone say, marching with God. When we walk with God, remember in the Garden of Eden, when God called Adam and Eve, he gave them a command and he told them, I bless you, go and be fruitful, subdue, cultivate the land, be productive. Number one, when you meet with God, you see what happens. The second thing, working with God means merging with God. What does the word merger mean? What to a business? What to a business? Merger means? Kuja Kudate. I have met with Kudate. I have met with God. Now we are merging. Put, put here. Masai, baby. Wakapa. Ero. Merging with? God. Merging with? God. Meaning that your work is a joint venture. You complement with God. God's work with you. God is leading you. And the Bible talks about the nation of Israel. And because God was with them, even when they were working with God, they did not have clothes. They did not have shoes. But because they marched with God, as they grew, their shoes could grow. As they grew, their clothes could grow. Because when you walk and march with God, you start discovering some miracles in your life. We start discovering some supernatural things in your life. I pray in Jesus' name. When you march with God, as the nation of Israel, when they walked with God, God was with them through the cloud. Their shoes could march. Their shoes could grow with them. Their clothes would grow with them. I pray in Jesus' name, when you march with God, may the supernatural happen to you in Jesus' name. Ah, uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. Did you know that the nation of Israel, when they were when they marched with God, and I remember when they were left and they met the Red Sea, they were so shocked and wondering, what are we going to do with this issue? They looked behind and they could see the chariots. The chariots come in after them. But because they had marched with God, God made a way in the Red Sea. I pray in Jesus' name, may God make a way where there seems to be no way in Jesus' name. When you march with God, he is a way maker. He is a promise keeper. He is that God. When you march with God, you start discovering and experiences the promises of God. And the promises of God are yes and then? The promises of God are yes and then? My brother, my sister, have you merged with God? In your, in your walk of life, who have you merged with? Who have you merged with? Who have you merged with? In your vision, that dream that you have, have you merged with God? Oh, when I grow up, I want to be. Oh, in 10 years' time, I want to be. Oh, I want to drive. Oh, I want a certain house. Have you merged with God? Where is God in that calculation? In those arithmetics that you are doing about your life, where is God? Hizo mahesabu zote unapiga za maisha yako, umepiga mahesabu overnight. Hata wengine wenyu hapa hivi wakulala, timu insomnia. Timu insomnia. You didn't sleep. 
Actually, sleep started catching up with you when it was 6 a.m. in the morning. Because you're so worried. You're so fearful. You're so anxious. You, anxiety has taken over your life. Fear has taken over your life. But I came to tell you this morning, when you march with God, he said, I did not give you a spirit of, of fear. When you march with God, he is not going to allow you to be anxious and worry. I pray in Jesus' name, march with God. Tell your neighbor, march with God. You've been trying to fight fear. I have an answer for you. You just need to march with God. You've been crying. You don't know what's happening, what's going to happen. A lot of uncertainty with your life. When I look at your status, Facebook may be complicated. You know, your, life, your, your status is complicated. It's so complicated because when you are a finance, you want to go to this university, unaleta school fees na ulizo na mzahe. Hii ni yako ama umeleta ya jirani. Your plans seems like they are not working out. But I came to tell you this morning, working with God and imagining with God, it means getting intimate with God. Having an intimate relationship with God. You cannot match with him if you are not intimate with this God. Have you matched with him? Some of us, we have matched with our fear. Some of us, we have matched with our past. Some of us, we have matched by what people have said about us. Some of us, we have matched with our background, where we came from, where you've come from. You know the status of your, of, your, of your family, how it is. You didn't even want anyone to know where you live. You didn't want even anyone because of the condition we have left. But I came to tell you, when you march with God, our God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above that which you may ask or even someone say amen. Someone say amen. Finally, when you walk with God, it means Having a movement with God. Moving with God. M number three, moving with God. Working with God means movement with God. Did you know God wants you to advance? Did you know God wants you to advance? Did you know God wants you to succeed? Did you know God wants you to have a testimony? Like the way you could talk about Enoch, Pau. God would want to talk about Paul. I said, man, have you seen my, my servant Paul, Paul? That one, the way he beats up the drums is the way he beats up my relationship with him. Walking with God means moving with God. Who have you been moving around with? In your life, what has been the move? For there to be motion, there has to be something pushing. What, what is the engine of your life? Ask your neighbor, what's the engine of your life? For there to be a move, there has to be someone propelling it and moving it. For you to walk with God, you must move with him. And let me tell you, you cannot move with God if there is no motion. Our God is a God of progress. Our God is not a static God. And that's why he says he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Tell your neighbor, our God is not a static God. Our God is not a static God. So why is your life stuck? Why is your life stuck? Why are you stuck? Why are you stuck on drugs? Why are you stuck? Why is your life not moving? Because you are stuck. Some of you, you are moving with people that are not helping you. Some of you, your life are stuck because of your friends. You can know you are not moving because of the people you are around with. You are just stuck. Your life is stuck. Are you the kind of a person who is saying, my life is stuck. My life, there is no move. My life Nothing is happening. There is no activity in your life. There can never be a move without an activity. 
There can never be a movement without a move. The first four words is move. Meaning there is an activity. You are so young, there is no activity in your life. Nothing is happening in your life because you are not moving with God. I came to remind you this morning, you need to allow God in your life so that you may move with God. God desires to move with you. God desires your life to be different. The plan of God for your life is, so, is that you may become different. You cannot die with stress. You are not even 30. No, no, you are depressed and tapa heavy. You can't even sleep. You must overdose some piriton for you to sleep. Because you've not, you're not moving with God. God will desire your life to be different. And that's why God wants you to move with him. Some of us, our lives, there's no move. There's nothing happening in our lives. Because no move with God. Walking with God means what? M number one? M number one? Hey, let's say it. Let's say it. Let's say it louder. M number one. M number two. M number three. Moving with God. My prayer for all of us, as you go through this sermon series, may you desire the three M's. Have you met God? Has your life met with God? As an individual, have you met with God? As an individual, have you made an intention to merge with God? You've merged with drugs, they are not helping you. You've merged with friends, they are not helping you. You've merged with everyone else, they are disappointing you. Everyone else has left you because you've merged with the wrong people. And three, you need to move with God. Where God is involved, there is fruitfulness. There is productivity. There is there is some fruit. The Bible says, for you did not choose me, but I chose you so that you can go and desire to meet with God. You can't meet with God if you are not prayerful. You can't meet with God if you don't, if you don't read his word. You can't meet with God because the, the last time you prayed is when you were praying for a pizza. You can't meet with God if you are not prayerful. Meeting with God means being intentional to seek him. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things. The second thing we are talking about, marching with God. The Bible says, I have given you power to make wealth. I have given you power to make wealth. When you march with God, God is telling you, when we march, we can do exploits. And to him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above that which you may ask or even believe. How I pray in Jesus' name, merge with God. Merge with God. And the last one, M number three. M number three, moving with God. Your life, there is no move. Nothing is moving in your life. God will want you to move. Our God is a God of progress. Our God is not a static God. God would want you to progress. The plan for God for you is to progress. I pray that you may progress in Jesus' name. I pray that there may be a progress in your life. And if there is no progress in your life, God wants to move with you. God wants you to move. God wants your life to move. God wants your life to progress. God did not plan so that you may be a static life. God would want your life to be progressive. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the church says, and the church says, let us stand up in Jesus' name. Praise and worship team. God wants to walk. God wants you to walk with him and not walk after him. God would want you to meet with him. God would want you to march with him. God would want you to move with him. That is the desire of God for your life. That is what God desires for you. That's what God wants for you. That is the desire of God for you. That you may meet with Him. That you may merge with Him. And that you may move with Him. That is the desire of God for your life. That is
is what God desires for you as a person. That is who God wants. That is what God says about your life. You have been static but God is telling you, I want to move with you. You've been you've been meeting the wrong people. You've been encountering the wrong people, but God wants to encounter with you. Your life has encountered the wrong encounters because your encounters has been wrong. God would want to encounter with you. When you encounter with God, there is productivity. That is the desire of God for you. The year 2023, have you walked with God? Have you met with this God? Have you marched with this God? Have you moved with this God? And that is the desire of God for your life. That is the desire of God for your life. And when God is talking about, I want to move with you, he's telling you, oh, come unto me, all you that are heavy loaded, so that I may carry your load. You've been carrying a lot of loads. You cannot move with God with all your loads. You've been carrying a lot of burdens. But God is telling you, I want to move with you. Stop carrying those burdens. Come unto me, all you that are heavy laden. And I'm going to give you my yoke. And my yoke is easy. My yoke is easy for you. I don't know what kind of burdens and loads that you've been carrying. Are they the loads of depression? Loads of giving up? Loads of frustration, loads of your background, loads of your fear, loads of your worry. Do you know what God is saying? I would want to move with you. I want to move with you. I want to move with you. Just the same way God talked to a man who had been beside the pool for 38 years. And he asked the man, do you want to get healed? God is asking you, do you want to move? Do you want to move? Do you want to move? You cannot walk with God and your life remains the same again. You cannot encounter with God and your life remains the same again. Some of us, nothing is happening because we've never allowed to encounter with this God. God would want you to encounter with Him at a personal level. At a personal level. God is speaking to you at an individual level. At a personal level that God is interested with your life. God is so interested with your life. God is so interested with your fears. God is so interested with those worries that you are carrying. He'd want to move with you. 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 He'd want to move with you.
to you this morning. Our desire is to walk with you. Our desire is to meet with you. Our desire is to march with you. And our desire is to move with you. Are you in this place and you've never given your life to Jesus? I want to pray with you. You are saying from this day, I just want to march with this God. I want to march with God. Shoot up your hand. I want to pray with you. Saying, I want to make that decision. Thank you for that hand. You are saying today I want to march with God. Are you there and you are saying, I also want to march with God. Just shoot up your hand. I want to pray with you. Shoot it up. You're saying today I want to march with this God. You've not been marching with God, and this day you're saying, I want to march with God. I want to march with God. Are you there? Any other person you're saying, I want to march with God. Thank you for that hand. You're saying, I want to march with this God. I'm still giving you a chance. You're here and you're saying, I've never marched with this God. I've been marching with the wrong. I've marched with the wrong. But this morning, I want to march with this God. Are you still there? I can see two, three. Are you there? Are you still there? You're saying, I want also this morning to march with this God. Nataka, natamani, nitembe na huyu mungu. I'm still giving you that chance. Please come. Those that have lifted their hands, please come. Could I come and help me pray them? Just come, 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 come. Come, come. Come, come. If you're still there, come. And you're saying, I want to march with this God. I'm still calling you, come. Come. A chance. You're saying, I want to march with this God. I want to walk with this God. I've not walked with Him. I want to walk with Him. Come, come, come. Come. I'm talking about you. You, you, you. You're getting a conviction. There's a conviction in your heart. It is you. Come. You're getting a conviction in your heart. It is you. Come. Don't fear. It's about your life. Come. You want to march with this God? Come, come. Still giving you a chance. Just come. Walk. Just walk here. Just walk here. Just walk. I'm still giving you a chance. Because you want to march with this God. Just walk here. I'm still giving you a chance. You say, Natamani Kutambiana. Just come. appreciate the Lord for giving you, for calling you back home. Before we pray, uh, it's good that you will, uh, to just to get a moment, um, just tell us your name and uh, tell us the decision you made. It's important. And then we'll be able to pray together because the Lord has called you to walk with him and he promises to never leave you nor forsake you always be with you. He'll always take care of your affairs, even as you walk in this journey. So I think I give you that opportunity. Uh, just come over here. It's always, uh, come. Yeah, it's a, it's a good place. Let's, uh, let's appreciate them. Let's give God a hearty clap. Yes. Uh, there are those of us I think uh, we start with you. I know she, he will need an interpreter, right? Yeah, so I think we start with him. Tell us your name and then tell us. Uh, yeah, take a mic. Yeah, hold it. Okay. Praise the Lord. 
My name is Matthew Kimadi. Kitavi, Matthew Kitavi. And today I have decided to be born again. You know, like ever since, like I've been having so many problems, but today I have decided to give my life to Jesus. Let's appreciate the Lord for that. Thank you. Uh... Um, praise God, church. Amen. My name is Kimberly. And I've decided today to march with God because I've been following him. Now I want to work with him. Amen. Let's appreciate the Lord. Praise God. Amen. I'm Malvin Dongo. I've decided to give my life to Christ and to implement the three M's that you have been told in my life. Praise the Lord for that. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. My name is Collins. Uh, today I've, I'm glad to join this fellowship. And me deciding to work with God is like the best, the best thing I've ever done. And Pia Pia Sisi Kwapa is like to Mamwa Kutembea na Mung, so Sion and Sisi Pekiake Pia Nim Kwapa. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, uh, again, just kneel down, let's pray, so that we say a confession prayer. Yeah. Just, we get to Bagoti here publicly, So we say, Lord Jesus, today I come to you again. I've been lost, but today I'm found. Today, I give my life to you and I get born again. I ask you to walk with me, to lead me, and to be my God. And I will follow you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can we continue to pray? Redeemer Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are here. Jehovah God, we this our sister and our brothers. They come back to you, Jehovah God, because you have called upon you, upon them, everlasting God, to come and walk with you. Everlasting God, you have challenged us, Jehovah God, that we need to walk with you, to merge with you, everlasting God, and Jehovah God, to trust in you in everything that Jehovah God we do. We lift up this young man and lady, everlasting God, into your holy hands. Knowing that Jehovah God, you're the God who sustains, you're the God who redeems everlasting God. You're the God who purifies. You're the God who strengthens. You're the God who keeps. Everlasting God, we are committing them into your holy hands today. Come claiming them for, the, for Christ. And believing that Jehovah God, they will not turn back. They'll be strengthened, everlasting God. They'll be agents of change for the people they meet every single day. Jehovah God, in their battles of life, everlasting God, they'll focus on you. That Jehovah God, even as they remember the day that Jehovah God, they decided to walk with you. May you walk with them, Jehovah God, all the days of their lives. Everlasting God, may you glow in their lives. May you touch them. May you fill them with your Holy Spirit, ever living God. Let it be that Jehovah God, when we look back, we shall every time see you in their lives, everlasting God. May you bless them. May you see them through everlasting God. May it be that Jehovah God, the testimony they will give in this place and outside everlasting God will bring glory and honor to your holy name. We magnify your name and we glorify you because you are our God and you are our Father. And this humble prayer of thanksgiving and faith in Jesus' name. Amen. You can rise up. One word. When you get born again, you tell everyone that you got born again. The world will separate itself from you the day you tell them you got born again. Others will give you a little time, they'll tell you, let's see, to honor. But the Lord sustains and keeps you, and he will keep you going. God bless you. I know we have the youth members here, youth leadership will walk with you. We are all here with you to pray with you. And uh, you're most welcome, the family of faith. And the rest of us, it's the best decision you can make in your life giving your life and decided to walk with the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Thank you very much.
God Church. I mean, my heart is so full that we have four more souls into the kingdom of Christ. You know, we say that God is so loving that he leaves the 99 and follows the one sheep. We are, Saito does Akwambia for sure, the angels are rejoicing in heaven because we have won more Christ, to, uh, more souls to the kingdom of Christ. We welcome you, Collins, Matthew, Matthew, and Kimberly. May the Lord continue walking with you, even as we all walk with God. You know, walk, tukisema, walking with God, it's a verb. Siati, unatembea na mungu lafu na muacha. It's something we always do. It's something we do time from time. We are walking with God. As we start this sermon series, I pray that we are going to be changed. We are going to be different people. We are going to move with God. Not si leo pekeke lafu tu muache kesho kuzio sermon series ya leo imeisha. No. Let's move with God all the days of our lives. Let's merge with God. Let's meet God at his place. Because indeed, we need God in our lives. And I'll share one verse. Um, Micah, Micah um, 6, 8. It says, He has showed you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. May you walk humbly with your God. Who is your God? You need to know your God. Amen. I welcome Elder Grace to come and pray for the tithes and offerings. Kindly prepare your tithes and offerings even as we continue to serve the Lord. Elder Grace. Let's give a mighty clap to God. Yeah, let's also uh, give a mighty clap to Ken for allowing God to use him. So it is meet, march, and move with. Let's say it again. Hmm? Move with God. Yeah, let's pray for the offerings. Oh Lord, allow me. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name this morning. For you are merciful, God. You are wonderful, God. All caring. You provide unto us. You've walked with us through the journey, so God. Protecting us, oh God. Even healing us, oh God. And you have been faithful in our lives. And this far we've come, it has taken your hand, oh Father, oh God. How we pray that you hold us with your hand, even as we meet merge and move with you, oh Father, oh God. It's a new series that we continue, we'll continue understanding you, God, and even knowing you even better, and moving with you, oh Father, oh God. We pray that, oh Father, every day that comes in our lives, that we'll not fear, because you are with us, oh God. You'll meet, our, uh, you'll meet us at our points of need, oh God, financially, socially, economically, oh Father, oh God, and even as we move every day, oh Father, oh God, your favor will be upon us, oh God, in our jobs, in our businesses, oh God, that we may get something to bring into your house, oh God. Thank you for today, for we have put apart something to bring into your house, oh God. How we pray that, oh Father, you continue being with us, oh God, blessing our parents, blessing our nation, oh Father, oh God, that we'll have a conducive environment to work and even to do business, oh God. Thank you even for what you've put, put aside, oh God, that it will continue working in your kingdom, oh Father, oh God, as we pray and that, oh Father, that you continue doing the work that we contributed even in this sanctuary, oh God. May you bless us. May you bless even our, our development committee that even as they start implementing what you have been praying for in this sanctuary, it will come to completion, oh God, one day, one time. And we'll be happy to say, this is your house that you have done some work, oh God. May you bless us, oh Father, oh God, even what you have put apart, what it, where it has cut the source, oh God. May you bless our sources, oh Father, oh God. May you continue walking with us and helping us to do what is right, just like Enoch did. And even Noah, he was one man who did what was right in your sight. How we pray that we emulate them in our lives. For this a prayer of faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.
salama eroho kanda ni pamoja na uwe eroho kanda ni yangu nikiwa na uwe niko salama eroho kanda ni pamoja na uwe nitashinda much present worship for the service you're doing. May the Lord continue filling you and adding into your cup as you continue pouring to us. I hope to mefurahi. Are we happy? Are we excited today? I mean, you have to rejoice with the angels. Angels want to rejoice in the way how we rejoice to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Are you happy? Yes. And what better way to answer seriously walking with God kama haufanyi mizizi na ombi. I mean, this is part of us walking with God. How do you walk with God without praying? How do you merge with God without actually talking to him? How do you move with him kama hauko rooted to his kingdom, hauko rooted to his word? And that's why we are doing Mizizi and Ombi. And we're starting today. So if you're not in a life group, tafadhali, tafadhali. You can't miss. How is he miss walk na God? You won't know how it is to move, to merge, and to meet with God if you're not learning his basics. And you only learn his basics from the word. And Mizizi and Ombi, ziko rooted in the word that, I mean, kama every single week, kuna a verse, kuna memory verse of the week, kuna a verse for each and every day. And this is how you learn the heart of God. This is how you know who God is. This is how you understand how God works and how he thinks. So personally, I am excited to be starting um, this journey again. I have done Mizizi. And I'll still do Mizizi again and again and again because in our routine, it differently every single time. And I'd like each and every one of us to experience that. Kevali share how Mizizi journey change. You should be the next person saying how Mizizi changed you. So kindly don't leave, don't leave, don't, don't leave. Plug into a life group. And for the 24 people um, who raised up their hands, kindly see Jane immediately after the service. Jane. Similia, mnajua Jane? Jane, that's Jane. Kindly see her after the service. Eh, always miss out. I mean, me, stakim tuyati a miss out. If you've done Mizizi, it's not the last book we're doing. We're now starting Ombi. People who've done Mizizi, most people who've done Mizizi in this service, in this church, have not done Ombi. So you can't miss Kwanza Ombi na Sisi. Is it 11 weeks, Zikwe? 11 weeks of walking with God, intentionally walking with God. Sawa sawa. So we are glad that you are here and you continue to serve with us. Kindly plug into each and everything umesikia tukisema. Bible study, worship night is coming. You can't miss. Potluck your sisters. You can't miss. B.O.B. Wakona sleepover. Mbona uwacho nyuma. Amen. So I'll welcome Ken to come even as he 
closes the word of prayer and may the Lord continue to bless you. Let's appreciate our vice chair. Wow. Santa Sana Vice Chair. Najua Sasa, the terms are coming to an end and new ones are coming. So you never know. So walking with God, number one. M number one. M number one. M number two. M number three. As we begin this th new week, may you desire to meet with God, merge with God, and move with Him. Let us arise for a word of prayer. Before we finalize the word of prayer, I want to pray for a couple in our midst. They are not in our midst, but they are our members, Joy and Kevo. They got a preterm baby, and uh, I know it is a journey. I have been in that journey, and they, they are, they, the parents have been discharged from the hospital, but the child is in hospital. We all know Joy and Kevo. They got a baby at 29 weeks at uh, Coptic Hospital. And uh, I've been in that journey with Victor. So and we, I have kept in touch with them and we are keeping in touch with them together with Bliss and walking with them and praying. For us is to pray with them. It is not an easy journey for a mother to leave a child in hospital. You know that. So Joy have had to leave the child in hospital for the next maybe two or three months in the incubator until the term of a baby is 40 weeks. So if, she, if he came with 29 weeks, we still have uh, some weeks ahead. But our prayer is as a church is to stand with them. Could you make a special prayer for that couple? Let us pray. Master Lord, we thank you this morning. Specifically, we want to remember Kevo and Joy. You've blessed them with a baby. Your words say that babies are like quivers in the hands of young men. And your word continues to remind us that the blessings of the Lord addeth no sorrow. This morning, dear Lord, we remember joy and Kevo. We pray for strength for that couple. We pray for comfort for that couple. We pray that, dear Lord, you may come through for them, O oh Lord, emotionally, physically, and financially, O oh God. You know, it may not be easy. We pray for the tears that may be rolling from their eyes, that, Lord, you may wipe their tears. Specifically, we remember joy. It's not easy for a mother to leave a baby in hospital and be discharged alone. We remember her, O oh Lord, as a mother. The Lord, in this season, you're going to give her grace. You're going to give her strength. That your joy shall be her strength, O oh God. Father, we pray. Now that they are feeling that they are down, lift them up in Jesus' name. You are saying that we shall walk through fire, but we shall not be burnt, O oh God. Our prayer, dear Lord, is that you're going to preserve them, O oh God. That one day they will stand in this altar and sing of your goodness, and sing of your glory, and sing of your glorious doing in the name of Jesus. Father, we remember that child, O oh God. We pray for that child in the incubator, O oh God. You've done it in the past for us. You've done it in the past for Victor. You've done it in the past for me, O oh God. And the same way you came through for us 11 years ago, Lord, you can still come through for them even now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. May that baby grow in that incubator in Jesus' name. We speak life to that baby in Jesus' name. We speak life to that baby in Jesus' name, to those lungs that are growing in the incubator, we speak life in Jesus' name. We speak life in Jesus' name. May there be addition of weight. May there be growth in the name of Jesus. God, even as you've reminded us, when we move with you, there is growth. May there be growth in that baby in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, may this baby live to be a testimony and to be a remembrance in the life of joy and in the life of Kevin of your doing in Jesus name we honor you and we bless you maybe even as we pray for joy and Kevin you're in this place and you're saying 
I also have a prayer need. I would want you to remember me with it. Just lift up that hand in Jesus' name. I want to remember you for that prayer need that you have. I want to remember you this morning you are seeing. Even me, I would want the Lord to remember me. I would want the Lord to move with me. I would want to, the Lord to be with me. Lord, we thank you for the hands that have been lifted. This morning we pray. Even as we meet with you, Lord, meet to the point of the needs of these people that have lifted up their hands. Meet to the point of their needs. Meet with them, O oh God. Meet with them, O oh God. Meet with them, O oh God. Meet with their needs, O oh God. Because walking with you encompasses meeting with you. May these people meet with you. Are the needs that they are lifting up their hands because of, we pray in Jesus' name. May you, may, may they encounter you in Jesus' name. May they encounter you in Jesus' name. And this anointing that is in this sanctuary this morning, may you meet with them in the name of Jesus. Under, the, under this anointing, oh God, may their needs be met in Jesus' name. Lord, you are a God that meets us. To them that are sick, may there be healing. To them that are believe in you, restoration. Meet with them, may there be restoration. When you met with Saul, you changed his name to be Paul. And Lord, I pray, as you met with him in Damascus, may these people meet with them and meet with their needs in Jesus' name. May there be a Damascus encounter when you meet with them. When you meet with them, when you meet with them, may there be an Ad a Damascus encounter, a transformation, a new name, a new song, a new testimony. Because when we walk with you, we meet with you. I pray for these that are raising their hands. As they meet with you, give them a new song. Give them a new testimony. Give them a joy of their hearts in Jesus' name. We honor you and we bless you. We speak healing. We speak restoration. We speak breakthrough. We speak open door. We speak newness. We speak a new beginning. We speak the favor of God upon you. Because when you meet with God, your life will never be the same again. God, when we meet in you, there is an encounter with you. May our needs encounter with you. May those needs that have been lifted in this sanctuary be encountered with you in Jesus' name. And to every dry bone, we speak life. We speak life. We speak life. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the church says, and the church says, and the church says, someone just celebrate and give a loud of applause unto the Lord. Amen, 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 amen. My prayer for all of you is that may you meet with God. May you encounter with God. As you begin a new week, may you meet with God. May you merge with God. And may there be a move in your lives. Because when you meet with God and you merge with God, there will be a move in your life. How I pray, may you encounter a move in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So you say amen like you believe it. Amen. amen, amen. Now surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Remember to join me Zizi. The 24 of you is first come first up. Jean, so you got the 12,000? Yes, so do your part. Do your part. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord be Watch over you. Last Sunday, ni likuwa naswa pisiye thome na wakasema hi to all of you. My youth wa kukuwa kona moto na sema hi. Next Sunday, I'll be in PCA Macedonia for three services. Uh, may you remember me in prayer even as I minister outside there. Amen? Amen. I love you and may God bless you. Jesus. Oh,